Hello everyone and welcome to a new video by me. This is a live action video, not a uh, game video. Uh, it's all about my day trip to Burgess Falls on the end of the world day, May 21st, 2011. Uh, sadly, or maybe happily, the world did not end, but either way I went to Burgess Falls, which is uh, near Cookville, Tennessee, or Sparta, Tennessee. Uh, this first photograph here is of a little lizard that I found, or rather saw. He found me, maybe. I don't know. Uh, right when I first got there, I got out of my car and didn't really know where I was at. I've never been to Burgess Falls before, uh, despite it being so close to Nashville. And uh, I got out of my car, walked over to a dam that's right near the falls and uh, as I was walking that way I saw this thing dart across the road and there was a little lizard so I thought I would include a picture of him um, like I said this is my first trip to uh, Burgess Falls here's part of the falls right here uh, as seen through the woods uh, it's a very grown up area so it's kinda hard to see some of the some of the rapids uh, especially through the view of a camera but here's a little view right here of uh, pretty much the first set of falls that you see once you enter the park there I uh, uh, and here's some video of that same area right here it was a beautiful sunny day about 80 something degrees nice weather uh, Burgess Falls is about, I think it's about 60, 70 miles outside of Nashville, about 60-ish miles, uh, depending on which side of Nashville you're on, I guess. It's a great day trip for anybody in the Middle Tennessee area, uh, all the way over to Crossville, maybe Knoxville could, you know, be a nice day trip for them. Uh, I, have, I have never been there before, uh, despite it being so close. <laughs> Um, here's a little area there's several of these where the, kind of at the top of that ridge uh, I guess there's a natural spring or something like that uh, that, that kind of trickles out and it uh, flows down the side of the hill and there's a little bridge there and it goes off down into the river I can't remember what river this uh, Burgess Falls is on it might be the Caney Fork uh, but I'm not sure about that. I guess I should have done some more research before I did this video, but I'm not going to go back and do that now. Here's some more uh, video of the rapids. Uh, this is actually a little bit uh, a calmer part of the river. There's a just up above center there, there's a little rapid that uh, falls off into this. Uh, area and then some more rapids that go that are down below this calm area but I thought it was a pretty little scene the trees kind of open up there and let you, let you give a get a good look at that this is the middle falls as the sign indicates and uh, it's a fairly large set of falls uh, I was kind of hoping that uh, there was some kids playing out there on top of it and I was hoping they would stick around for a little while um, but they didn't, just so you could get kind of a scale on it. Uh, but it's pretty, this is a pretty nice little area. Uh, and it's fairly close in from when you get to the park. So if you're not interested in doing a lot of walking, then uh, that's an easy area to get to and you can just turn around and go back. This right here is the main falls. Uh, this is deeper down in the... Uh, area this is the big falls I guess you would say um, it's it's very tall and uh, you can hear some people in the background and I was trying to zoom in on some people and you can see them kind of left of center in the video there to uh, it's a, they're a little bit hard to see just so you can get kind of a scale of it uh, I decided not to go all the way to the bottom of the falls but uh, I did go right down to the edge this is right here at the edge of the falls uh, at the top of the falls 
And right there is where it goes over that uh, left of center at the top is, is kind of the apex of the falls. Here's another view from a slightly different angle. There's that, that little tree in the middle of the picture is just hanging out there on the edge. It's just barely hanging on, but it's it's hanging on nonetheless. Um, here's another uh, lizard that I saw, just a quick video. Uh, you can barely see him on that tree root there. He's got a blue tail. and we, I see a lot of those types of lizards here in Tennessee. I'm not sure what kind of lizard it is, but uh, my second reptile sighting of the day. Uh, you probably see a lot of snakes. Here's another view of the falls, kind of from the sort of the bottom, not really the bottom, but uh, kind of mid-level. I didn't go all the way down. I didn't want to get off in the briars and the bushes and stuff, but it's it's fairly far down in a in a cavern. Here I am tilting the camera in an interesting way. Uh, this is all filmed using my my uh, Android phone, and I just wanted to kind of see how it coped with it. Not very well, apparently, but uh, okay. Here's a still photograph of. Uh, the road that leads down to the falls if you're not uh, interested in taking the uh, scenic route you can um, you can you can walk down this road you can't drive down this road it's a restricted area but you can walk down the road and for people who uh, may not be able to go out there and get on that trail here's a view of my feet in my new Vibram five finger shoes uh, quote unquote shoes. Uh, I was giving them a test drive. I, I got them the other day in the mail and so I wanted to test them out, see how they did. They did pretty well. Um, my feet didn't hold up that well. Uh, I got a little, it's, it, uh, it's definitely a different type of walking when you have these shoes on and uh, it takes a little bit out of you. And that's pretty much the end of the video. Here I am driving down the road, driving away from the falls. Uh, I had said some stuff on this part of the video, but uh, didn't the audio was pretty bad, so I thought I would just talk over it. Uh, hope you enjoyed my trip to the falls. If you live in Tennessee, uh, Middle Tennessee, uh, Middle Middle Kentucky, South Bowling Green area, um, you know, even West or East Tennessee, it's Burgess Falls is a it's a quick day trip and it's it's a great great place to visit.